Hi, welcome in. Today, I'm going to show you how I cleaned up my shop floor with all those hoses, cables, and cords and got them up and off the floor and onto my ceiling using this. So if you've dealt with this, or if you've installed power only for that tool to move or get upgraded, then this video is for you. It's all about installing a reconfigurable system that will allow you to route power, dust pipe, hose, and add storage above those tools that's otherwise wasted space. Let's take a closer look. Strut is like Lego blocks for industrial applications. It's used everywhere and you've surely seen it. Maybe on electrical panels or HVAC systems, but definitely in the plenum of commercial spaces like your local Costco, just take a look up. And the reason is it's so easy to install, it's cost effective, it's simple to reconfigure, and it's effectively universal. So what is Strut? Well, it's a U-shaped channel system that has no welding and no drilling. It's a mechanical attachment using compression to hold pieces together. And it's ubiquitous. You can get it at your local electrical supply, but you can also get it at your local Home Depot or Lowe's. And you can pretty much build anything with it. But this video is about your ceiling. Now it's pretty easy to install. All you do is build a grid on your ceiling. You're gonna bolt strut directly into your ceiling joists. I recommend you do this perpendicularly so the weight is distributed across as many joists as possible. Now, you can do this by yourself with just an extra ladder, or if you really wanna speed things up, get an extra set of hands. Either way, it goes up quickly. You can install an entire ceiling grid in less than a day. All it takes is some simple lag bolts and some fender washers that fit in the channel and hold it to the ceiling. After that, you attach cross members using cone nuts, square nuts, and machine bolts. These pieces fit together really easily. And that's the only fixed part of the installation. Now you can easily reconfigure this at any time, and don't worry about uneven ceilings, it won't create any kind of problem. Now, this system doesn't require a lot of cutting, and I don't think you'll need to cut down your strut when you install it, but if you find yourself in a situation where you need to cut the strut down, it cuts easily with a steel saw, and those are fairly cheap. You can get them for around $150 on Amazon, and you can cut your threaded rod with that too. If you don't need to cut the strut, then you can just use a hacksaw for any threaded rod you may need. Maximizing your ceiling is all about layering. So I've installed my air at the top, my dust right below it, then my power, and then my lights. All right, so let's talk about power. I started on mobile bases, and in that process collected a lot of cords. So when I took over the entire garage, I decided to stick with those cords. You read online that you should put a drop every three foot or six foot of different voltages and whatnot, and if you've investigated that, you realize it's extremely expensive. It's also not flexible at all. So this has a lot of benefits. When you move the tool, the power can go with it. When you upgrade the tool, you can upgrade the power yourself. There's no need to plan ahead for drops every three or six feet. And if you move spaces, the power can go with you. Now I've installed my cable tray in a figure eight, so I can get power anywhere in the shop within a few feet of the drop. And then it all terminates back to my power panel. It's cheap and easy to install, easy to reconfigure, and there's no limitations. I'm running 80 amp extension cords myself. And if you're like me, you've reconfigured your shop more times than you can count. So the added flexibility is what it's all about. Now let's switch gears and talk about dust pipe. We all know it's a pain to install. It's an even bigger pain to reconfigure. There's all different types of dust pipe, but I highly recommend a clamp together system, simply for the fact that tools change, we move things around, and that clamp together system makes a big difference. But either way, you can route it up and onto the ceiling using pipe clamps which are cheap and effective to buy and allow you to suspend that pipe from the ceiling and reconfigure it as need be. And using the strut system, you can put drops anywhere in your shop so it's as close to the tool as possible. Beyond that, you can build trolleys for hoses, curtains, or even a gantry with a hoist. I've used this strut above my CNC so that the hose can follow the gantry and stay up and out of the way. But you can really suspend anything you want from it. 
you can drop those lights down below whatever you have above it, and there's no shadow cast. This allows you again to make use of that space above the lights without messing up the light distribution of your floor. Now you wanna make sure you ground your strut system just in case. Last thing you wanna do is get shocked by it. So you can run that into your garage door outlet or you can run as many extra grounds as you like. I have three or four grounds around the shop just in case. Sometimes suspending things from the ceiling is the best part of the strut system. I've suspended power, hoses, and regulators all from the ceiling, so it's where I need it when I need it. And as my shop moves around, I simply reconfigure that. All right, so there's one other big benefit, and that's storage. So you can build storage onto your ceiling, and that can hold tools or lumber that's up and out of the way, or, uh, uh, what is that called, uh, air? Air cleaners. You can also mount systems like air purifiers or dehumidifiers up and out of the way, or you can really build storage for whatever you want. You can pretty much make any type of storage in any shape or configuration you want using angle brackets, some strut or threaded rod, and some plywood. Anyway, you get the idea. It's a really flexible system, but let's talk about how much it costs to install. So it's going to depend on the size of your space, but Strut usually runs around $25 per 10 foot, but check your local electrical supply. All the other parts are relatively cheap online. You'll need cone nuts and square nuts and bolts and fender washers, but you can order them and they can be shipped straight to your house. I'll leave the vendors that I used, which there's no affiliation with, uh, in the description below to help anybody out, but you can order them from Amazon or anywhere you like. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and you found something useful in it and you can subscribe if you want. You aren't subscribing, are you? <laughs>